So here I am in Mausel, Cornwall. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning place. If you haven't been, you've got to come here. Took seven hours though to get down here from Worcestershire, and it should be usually four and a half, so two and a half hours of traffic. Um, whole of the UK is holiday in the UK, which is fantastic, but not if you want to get anywhere. Anyway, here now, all totally worthwhile. Got myself a beer. Already seen a half a porpoise, a half a porpoise, and uh, conditions look amazing for tomorrow. So hopefully you're going to see some big stuff out over yonder. So plan is a bit of fish and chips, park up the camper, and then get out first thing in the boat and see what we can find. Happy days. Mausel is a stunningly picturesque and historic fishing village and harbour in the south of Cornwall on the other side of the peninsula to St Ives, right where the toes of the UK dip themselves into the waters of the Atlantic, which is why it's home to so much megafauna and including this weekend, one mega mouth. Morning, it's half six and I've clearly set in my alarm but it's still a good time. Look at this for you. That's where we are. <coughs> mouse hole. Not pronounced mouse hole. And uh, in the camper. So, time to grab some breakfast, get myself sorted, get the boat up, and get out in the water and see what we can see. Hopefully, we're going to see a basking shark. Um, if not, definitely um, some porpoises, dolphins, seals, a basking sharks and minky whales is what we're really after. Um, what a great spot. Technically, I'm illegally camping. Um, in England, it's not legal to just park camp up on the side of the road and camp out, but in these places they turn a blind eye to it. In Scotland, it's legal. Wales, also grey area. Um, but you know, if you're up so early in the morning and don't know what you're going to say, something risky I'm going to take. <laughs> power of video editing software, I was able to set up my boat in super quick time. So in front of us we've got dolphins by the looks of things hitting the surface. I'm not going to get too close, obviously I can't for protection reasons, but I've just seen some kind of the water. Going to get a little bit closer and see where they're at. Not sure what kind of dolphin it was. Definitely a dolphin. And this patch of clear water is here. Where are they? Only been out about 10 minutes. See if we'll come say hello. Hey Dolphoids, where are you? Over there. Oh, fantastic. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Stop by, say hello. Say hello again. Now let's slow that down and watch it again. Awesome. So after that amazing dolphin encounter, just seeing another group just here 
Not sure how far offshore I am, must be I must be going for a couple of miles now. I just saw more dolphins on the surface. I think they're commons again. Um absolutely amazing. What a day for it. So I hope you now come by. I wanna say hello hello and we'll get the uh, camera in the water again. Hmm. I'm to learn to speak dolphin. <coughs> That means, do you want a pint? Do you want a pint of mackerel? Common dolphin coming right alongside the boat. Absolutely amazing. See if we can get it underwater. So there's some action here in front of me. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's a dolphin. It might be a tuna. Well, yeah, right in front of us. Here we go. Well, actually, no, it's dolphin. It's dolphin. It's dolphin chasing something down. Common dolphin. Really got its eye on something. So just pop passing back to. Uh Malzal Harbour. Uh, we just had about two and a half hours, 10.30, so we're out of the boat two and a half hours this morning, surrounded by a huge group of dolphins, huge pod. There must have been 50 to 100 animals there, but obviously all well spaced out. But having that one animal come right under the boat, I hope that came out the camera. Um, that was amazing. Uh, so, having seen the basket shop, um, getting low juice on the camera, so we go back to Melville Harbour, charge the camera up, get some food, charge myself up, and then come back out for some stalking and do it natural fishing. Woo! And for those of you who aren't fluent in the language of snorkel, what I'm saying is look at these beautiful bass. That's raising huge, huge ball of sad deals. Absolutely huge. Um, little bass, well, not little, quite a big bass underneath it, just checking out. Just surrounded by sad deals. Because it goes to show really healthy oceans. Fantastic. And after an amazing morning wildlife watching above and below the waves, I decided it was time to join in one of Malzor's favourite pastimes, jumping off the harbour wall. Get you in. 
There's only one way this is going. So I've steamed out from Mausel. It's absolutely flat calm. And nothing like the dolphin show we saw this morning, but just being out in the water when it's like this, cutting the engine, and just bobbing around a couple miles offshore. It's just amazing. I'd rather be bobbing around a long way offshore. I can't see the land, but if you look at the size of my dinghy, <laughs> you'll understand why I didn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm probably about two, three miles offshore. It's lovely bobbing around. Happy days. And the distance there, just offshore, we've got St Michael's Mount. I've no idea when that's built. I imagine 12th, 13th century. I'll have to concur with the visitor's guide when I get back. But just amazing. And people from all over the world come to see this. But in the UK, it's not really that well publicised, I don't think. Whereas Mont Saint Michel, which is the French equivalent, is totally, totally rinsed for the tourism. This makes you think, cast your mind back to when that was built and what would have been in Mount Bay then. It would have been full of wildlife. Because even though I lament that down here the oceans are healthy and getting better, I mean, it's nothing like what it would have been 800 years ago. It would have been insane. There would have been whales passing through all the time, lots of dolphin undoubtedly. I'm not sure if they're eating dolphin then. We've been full of fish, undoubtedly. Maze balls. I would love to have been a marine biologist 500 years ago and just seen what in the ocean then. Cool as F. There you go. There you go, mate. That old male grey seal. Specimen just chilling out, having a snooze, I'm trying to have a snooze. There's no noisy humans around, More seagulls. I'm gonna seal it some peace, jeez. I once heard a story down here that a guy tried the rocks because we're not far from Mausel Harbour. I swam out to the rocks and towards the latter stage of swim to the rocks he was getting chased by a seal but I can't remember if he had to get rescued or someone had to come and get him but he couldn't get off the rocks for a considerable amount of time because the seal would not <laughs> leave him alone every time the guy went to get the water the seal wouldn't approach him and these can have a pretty nasty bite but the, <laughs> the guy told me the story and said he thought the seal thought the guy was a female seal.
I doubt that immensely, but good story nonetheless. You right, fella? Now he's thinking, what are you doing? Pointing that thing at me? You're talking to yourself, you bloody nutcase. Okay, dude. I'll leave you alone. Putting back into Mausel Harbour. What a lucky way to finish up a day of wildlife watching. Nice big full grey sea on the rocks. Happy day. Let's get back to shore, get the boat packed up. So, boat is packed. Camp is packed, but looking like an absolute s hole. But thank you very much, Mausel. You never failed to deliver. Amazing. Let's go, Nuki. So first of all, he whizzes past me. Then he takes his hands off the handlebars. <laughs> then we get into a little town, or well, I think it's a village. And he's checking his text on his phone. He's doing it right now. <laughs> no, he's doing it now. Oh my god, look, he's checking his text. <laughs> See if he can get this guy's number to play. Oh yeah, look, the, uh, he's, he's realised I'm behind him. He's put his phone away. <laughs> uh, and he's on an L plate as well. Even better than that. Oh dear, mate, come on. That is a car crash waiting to happen, or a motorbike smash. Yeah, he's getting his phone out again. Getting his phone out again to check it. Checking his text whilst, whilst riding a bike on an L plate. What is going on? Right, it's just coming to Newquay now, and uh, I need to have a shower somewhere. So, the tactic is, we're going to do a shower from the jerry can in the camper. And wild showers many times before. Probably the wildest was in Cologne, World Cup 2006, outside of my mate's, <laughs> I can't call it a camp van, transit van, <laughs> uh, under a bottle of water. Um, so yeah, so I've got to find somewhere, park up my camper, and have a shower under my jerry can. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> oh, lifestyles are rich and infamous. <laughs> Check this out, here we are, New Key, overlooking world famous Fistral Beach. Not for sure if it's world famous, but definitely UK famous. Well known for amazing waves. Um, that's beautiful, look at that. So now I'm going to try and grab myself a bandit shower <laughs> and uh, hit the town. <laughs> well, check this out. Absolutely lush sunset swim at Fistral Beach in Newquay. Have a hand fit on tour if there's any waves. Get amongst it. <laughs> the water is so warm.
the other great thing about here is that there's very little chance of getting eaten by a shark. <laughs> you might get attacked by a whale on the beach though. <laughs> And she's gone. See you tomorrow, son. And after enjoying what seemed like an endless sunset, it was time to get out of the water and have that Joey Can shower outside the cave. This is sneaky. On oh, midnight, carnage. <laughs> Outside the cave with a chicken fab. I don't think this chicken has had a very good life. Anyway, I'm trying to get in this place and see what happens. <laughs> Morning, Fistral Beach, Newquay, Cornwall. Check this out. If you understand why it's so famous, look how wide the beach is. I imagine when it kicks up, it kicks up a great swell. That, unfortunately, is not today. It's about a foot at best, so no real hand surfing action. So I've got the mask. I'll have a little swim around, see if we can see anything. If you look up there, all the way in distance on that hill is where I parked and slept last night. Mega. Top night sleep. Woke up to the view of this. So, after an awesome day out on the boat yesterday, seeing all the dolphins, seals, um, snorkeling with the ras, bass, and everything else. Um, uh, just some here. Here's a lifeguard just spoiling my audio, so I better shut up basically and just get in the sea. It's been an awesome weekend though, and uh, did a stack of music promotion last night, so uh, spreading tut tut all through Cornwall. Now uh, head back to Worcestershire after the swim, and uh, yeah, get back in the studio. Happy days. And with that massive hint from the lifeguard, it was time for one final dip and a gratuitous slow-mo underwater selfie. And uh, 
next weekend I have my little girl, my angel, uh, my son of my universe, my uh, little girl Eve. And we're going to be doing some, well, the weather's good, snorkeling in uh, the rivers near us. So we've got the Y, the Avon, and the Seven all under an hour away, or actually 45 minutes of where we live. Um, so she said she wants to go snorkeling in the rivers, which is fantastic. So she's just getting her confidence snorkeling. So, yeah, so it's going to be um, great. And then the weekend after, next time I'm on the road on adventure, I go to check conditions, see which um, coast is going to be best. But I think I would really like to get to New Key, not New Key, New Key, New Key South Cardigan Bay. Um, I get out on my boat there. We have a group of 250 um, resident, or seven resident, on those dolphins there. Lots of seals. Well, I've seen a lot of bottlenose, um, but never from my own boat. So I like to go out. And they also have fin whale, occasionally come off that coast, and Minky as well. So we shall have a look. And basket sharks as well. Who knows who's going to fill up? Check the next couple of weeks, but that is the plan at the moment. And uh, yeah, very much looking forward to it. But also, looking forward to going home. Itself. Don't try and share in your camper. 